these are all the leaves that have come off the trees. <laughs> all the reds, the bright reds and golds are pretty much down. Just the uh, tenacious yellows are really up there, yellows and browns. But It's fun to walk through them, fun to kick them around. I'm sure I look beautiful. We had to pull out the heavy duty hardware last night. This is a uh, minus 20 below sleeping bag. It is in the trailer 40 degrees. Outside it's 33. The sun is just coming up. It's seven o'clock. <sighs> the boys want to get up and have dinner and breakfast. We're going to turn on the furnace and try to heat the place up and get dressed. I'm actually hot in here. This is a really good sleeping bag. <sighs> Furnace time. Breakfast, dog style. We're having cold granola cereal and hot tea. Probably have a banana and a yogurt too. A lot of hunters have been going by this morning um, before dark or before light. So it's bear season and it might be bow season up here. I'm not really sure what the seasons are, but on my uh, thermometer was 31 degrees. Inside the trailer, the low temperature was 39, so not too bad. The forecast for today is for the weather to be up around 60. So that'll be good. Um, it's probably a little hot for climbing a mountain, but we'll assume that at the top of the mountain, it'll be colder than 60. So we'll be uh, looking at probably moving that. That's one of the reasons we'll be carrying the backpack is to put clothes in or take them off and carry a lot of water. For a six-mile journey, it may take us four hours with the dogs, especially with Dakota. He's slow, and I don't want to overdo him. Give him time. We may take a couple of snack breaks. We'll take some, some snacks for them and me and uh, eat along the way. Warms up, and we don't have to worry about... Uh, the trailer, we, we, we're in a great position for sun. Um, we should get solar. Right now the battery is at 12.3 after running the heater a little bit last night, maybe half an hour last night, and probably about a half hour this morning to warm the trailer up. This, this furnace uh, takes this place up to 55 in uh, 
10-15 minutes from 30. So it's real nice. It's a great little trailer. Um, one of the things I didn't do is I probably should have turned off the fridge. Uh, I left it on all night and it does take almost a half an amp every hour. So sun went down at 6 o'clock. Sun didn't come up till 7 o'clock. So that's 13 hours at half an amp. Just I could have saved that electricity, um, although it's, you know, for 13 hours, let's say 14 hours, it's 7 amps. Not really a huge amount, but um, my belief is that, you know, it's conservation that gives you the most electricity. Um, using solar and, and using just battery power on your trailer, um, conservation is probably the most important part, is turning lights on and off fast. Um, the other thing I did, I left uh, I left my porch light on. I got a porch light. Um, it's LED, so it's not too bad. It only takes a tenth of an amp. Um, but I left that on all night. I like that because I, if I let the dogs out, if they need to go out for some reason or another, I can look out <laughs> and make sure there's, there's no skunks or bears or porcupines or whatever evil lives in this forest. 12.3 on the battery. One amp going in. <laughs> Tenth of an amp right now. The sun is up, but it's way down below the trees. We got three amp hours pulling the trailer in to camp yesterday. Wasn't a good day. Hey, I wanted to talk to you about my buddies here. I have my two boys, and I think most people on my channel know I have two boys. I also have two sons, and uh, my sons are very important to me, and they're they're great kids. They, uh, my older son just graduated law school. He's waiting for his bar re exam results, which he, I'm sure he passed. Um, my other one's uh, working on his PhD, so they're pretty good. They're uh, they're independent on their own. They've moved out of the nest, um, but my boys here. What are you doing? Come here and say hi. My boys here, they are totally dependent and totally uh, giving to me. And uh, I have lost a couple dogs in my life and I have come to the realization that these things do not last very long. Um, one of my co-workers at work just lost a very nice dog and uh, I just wanted to say I feel really bad. If there, there may be a lot of editing in this. I learned today that uh, his dog passed. Um, he's been kind of fighting with the uh, cancer of one leg and uh, they took off the leg um, last week or two weeks ago and and I know how he feels it's uh pretty sad you know these guys they're like angels from heaven and you can't keep an angel forever they just uh they're just temporary they bring us a lot of joy and happiness are you joy or happy your joy and who's happy are you happy as my Dakota here gets older, we're going to try to hike up on a mountain tomorrow. It's six miles round trip. And I think he'll probably do all right, but I think he'll be sore in the morning or in the evening. So, uh, anyways, if you got kids, give them a big hug. If you got dogs, give them an extra treat. Tell them you love them. And let them sleep on the couch one night or something. But, uh... So I just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> Sorry for the sad portion of the, the vlog. Um, hopefully tomorrow we'll have some, uh, some great hiking. And uh, I won't get lost in the woods and die and you won't see any of this. But anyways, um, thanks for watching. Uh, more tomorrow. This is next to the... Uh, trail going up the mountain and it's uh, little waterfalls that makes quite a lot of noise but it's pretty neat
and somebody thinks it's bath time. He's hot. He's not. 